All right, guys, so we have Joe Biden's first ad of 2024 that I want to share with you. We'll watch it. We'll break it down. Apparently, he's going to blanket swing states during NFL kickoff with this ad that's, you know, prime time slot for an ad to have the most impact in this country is NFL kickoff. You play it uh, during that. So uh, here, let's show it and then we will react to it. This is first ad of 2024. They said millions would lose their jobs and the economy would collapse. But this president refused to let that happen. Instead, he got to work fixing supply chains, fighting corporate greed, passing laws to lower the cost of medicine, cut utility bills, and make us more energy independent. Today, inflation is down to 3%, unemployment the lowest in decades. There's more to do, but President Biden is getting results that matter. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Uh, very standard. Very standard. I guess I'll give it a C, C plus, something like that. It's very uh, old school kind, kind of stuff here. Um, you know, I like that he brought up uh, we're bringing down drug prices. Now, to be fair... That's not nearly as comprehensive as it could be. It's only like 10 drug prices, uh, and he has the right to step in via executive order or by the Buy Dole Act and reduce the price of all drugs that the U.S. government helped fund. He could do that unilaterally on his own. He's choosing not to do that. But I like the fact he's bringing up he's lowering some drug prices. Um, there's some things in here that are positive. Look, I'm caught between... So there's a whole... There's a number of different approaches you could use. One approach is... Let me tell you the things I did that were good. Another thing you could do is, let me tell you the things I plan to do that are great. You could do that too. And the third one is, let me tell you how psychotic and insane my opponent is. He doesn't really do any of those in this. So it's just sort of a standard political ad. Here, I'm going to play the middle part again. Fixing supply chains, fighting corporate greed, passing laws to lower the cost of medicine, cut utility bills, and make us more energy independent. Today, inflation is down to 3%, unemployment the lowest in decades. There's more to do, but President Biden is getting results that matter. If it's me, I would definitely be running a more aggressive campaign. Uh, I think it's criminal if Joe Biden never runs an ad about Donald Trump being charged with 91 crimes. <laughs> like, like, at some point, you got to bring up, this guy is a criminal. <laughs> He's got 91 charges against him. I, you know, you could list them on the screen. Uh, that's if so. If you want to make the argument, my opponent is a psycho. You could do that, right? You can list that his number one accomplishment was a tax cut for the rich. You could almost start a World War Three by randomly assassinating a top Iranian commander who was on the ground fighting ISIS, nonetheless. Like you could you could hit him and hit him hard on those things. Again, that's one approach, which I think would make sense when running against Trump. Just let everybody know this guy is way beyond the pale, and it would be absurd to ever let him in office again. Bring up what you are going to do. You know, hey, you elect me again, we're lowering all prescription drug prices. You elect me again, I'm wiping out all student loan debt. You know, you elect me again, and we're cutting more stimulus checks. I don't know. Anything that's positive that you plan on doing. Now, the problem is, he hasn't really talked about what he plans on doing, because he hasn't really planned on doing anything, right? He already did. His first term was way better than I expected, but now he's just sort of Doing nothing, right? I mean, at the very least, you could, like, extend the uh, earned income tax credit or the child tax credit. Y y you know, you could do that. That would be that would help people tremendously and lower child poverty drastically. You could do paid family leave or something like that. That'd be great. That'd be wonderful. So he's not talking about that stuff because I don't think he plans on doing all that much in the second term. Um, and like I said, the other thing you could do is just bring up the things you uh, are proud of, Right. We did student loan debt reduction. We cut uh, $1,400 stimulus checks. We pulled out of Afghanistan. We did a 15% corporate minimum tax rate to stop corporations from ripping you off. Added 800,000 manufacturing jobs. So, it, you know, there's some blend or some mix of those three strategies that you need to lean into. Here are the base things I did. Here are the base things I'm going to do. And here's how horrendous my opponent is. This, is to me, is just sort of like standard operating procedure, procedure kind of ad. Um, which it's not bad, right? It's not bad. It's just not great. And nothing really stands out about it. It seems to me like their strategy is I'm just going to be normal because clearly the guy who's likely to be his opponent is not normal. He's insane. <laughs> and like it, the people who are still with Trump as strongly as they are, are kind of in a cult. And so he's going with, I'll just be normal <laughs> approach. I'm a normal president and it's yet to be seen how that'll play out. But you know, I told you guys what I think he should do 
moving forward in these ads. But I'm curious what you guys think. What do you think of this ad overall? And what should he do moving forward? All right, guys, that's the show. That's the show. I love y'all very much. Thank you, as always, for listening to me babble. You know I appreciate it. Everybody do me a huge favor. Click that like button. Click that subscribe button. If you're watching the show and you haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Cost you nothing. Helps me tremendously. So please click that sub button. Click that bell icon so you get a notification every single time a video drops. I deeply appreciate that too. Um, everybody, 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 big favor, please. Support the show on Patreon. Thank you to everybody who already does that. Or you could tip on YouTube. The thanks button is below. Remember, I've never had a conversation with an advertiser. You guys help build this show from the ground up. And definitely check out um, Crystal Kylan Friends this week. We're going to be talking to Brianna Joy Gray and uh, potentially debating Cornell West's uh, run. I'll be interested to see what her position is on that. I certainly know what my position is on that. Uh, it should be an interesting and fun back and forth. So everybody check out Crystal Kyle and Friends this week. And yeah, that's all I got for you. I love you all, and I will talk to you next time. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.